So we're being asked to compute the limit as x approaches 0 of this quantity here. So the first thing you should do whenever you have a limit is take the number and plug it in and see what happens. So if we do that, we get 0 plus 3. We have a square root minus the square root of 3 over 0. So that's 0 over 0, and that's undefined. So that's no good. So we have to take a different approach. So the approach that kind of jumps out at you after you do a couple of these is to rationalize the numerator. Whenever, whenever you have like a square root minus something else, uh, rationalizing the numerator is usually a good first bet. So let's go ahead and rewrite the whole thing one more time. So x plus 3 minus the square root of 3, and then here we have x. Okay, so to rationalize the numerator, we'll multiply by the so-called conjugate. So we'll multiply by the square root of x plus 3 plus the square root of 3, and then we divide by the exact same thing. So square root x plus 3 plus the square root of 3. And this is really equal to 1, right? So everything here is good. We're not doing anything uh, bad. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. And now we're going to use a formula from the past, right? So if you have a minus b times a plus b, this is the difference of squares formula. This is a squared minus b squared. So in this problem, this here is our a, and this is our b, this is our a, this is our b. So it's just going to be a squared, so we square this guy. So we just get x plus 3 minus, and then we square the b, so we just get 3. And in the denominator, we still have our x. And then it's really easy to forget this piece as well. This is being multiplied by the denominator. So we have parentheses, square root x plus 3 plus the square root of 3. Let's see what happens here. The 3's cancel. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by x and then parentheses square root x plus 3 plus the square root of 3. Now the x's cancel. Let's go ahead and write it one more time. So limit x approaches 0 and we have 1 over the square root of x plus 3 plus the square root of 3. And at this point, we can finally plug in 0, right? We tried to do that at the beginning of the problem, and it didn't work. So now we can do it. So now we stop writing the limit sign. So it's 1 over. We're taking the limit, right? So 0 plus 3 plus the square root of 3. That's simply 1 over the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3. And we have two of them. So this is 1 over 2 square root of 3. So how do you know to do this? Well, whenever you have like a square root minus another square root or something that remotely looks like this, it's a good attempt, um, a good thing to try. That's it.